Welcome to Billy Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today I'm looking at the Poxis All In. Um, it's taken a little while to get here, and I am ready for it. I have my heat gun, and I have my knife, so I'm ready to open this up and see which one I'm going to review. Today we're looking at Samir Squirrel Warder. I can't keep to a format to uh, save my life, but I went ahead and just took everything off of Samir because I wanted to go straight to the, 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 the main body here. Um, as you can see, it has where it has that metallic paint on the torso, the forearms, uh, the upper legs, uh, kind of like a more dull, like, I'd say it was black with dry brushed brown on there, which honestly, like, is a really good looking detail. Uh, when we first saw these, when they first were, like, solicited, we thought, oh, it's going to be a brown body for Samir, and for Erzak, it's going to be just a black body. <laughs> Lame. But, in fact, it's not. All the metallic paint there on the forearm, well, on the upper arms. Let's see if I can get that to convey on there. It's really black with, like, a dry brushing of brown on there. I I like that. It looks a little worn, a little, a little... It, it gives it more depth, and I, I I do appreciate that. Now, uh, building him back up, he does have a, a cloak with him that's, I'd almost say it's like the basic version of Erezek. I think it's Erezek. Yeah, I'm learning the names as I go. Um, but I do wish that... This had the same kind of thing where it had the Velcro right here to hold it closed like that. Because he does have where his beard uh, covers over it, but it kind of like bunches out. It doesn't it doesn't hold as well. I think that's something that should have been on here. Um, it kind of it kind of makes the belt a little bit harder to keep closed with Arizak. Yeah, Arizak, it has where it it helps more. But uh, let me go ahead and get him redressed. Samir Scroll Warder. Um, once you get all his stuff on there, I had to take his belt, push it together, and then like twist the the top part onto the peg. And it had where I, I guess I worked it in there enough, so that worked out there. Um, for a guy named Scroll Warder. He comes with two scrolls, so he can two-hand scrolls, which is fantastic for him. I'm happy for him, you know. You got to live up to your name. He does come with an alternate head uh, that has, like, the magic sigils uh, painted on there, which is really cool. I do like this. Um, his standard head does have, like, great eyes on it. Um, the cape itself has where it's the same kind of thing going on with um, ba -ba -ba Zindi. Where it's a little heavy, but the wires in it are just strong enough to kind of get that billowing just right. It's just the right gauge wire. And I think in the hood, the gauge is a little bit lower. I think it's lower, stronger. Eh, it's been a while since I worked uh, worked hardware. But um, another thing which is neat and kind of adds to why you should pick up uh, Samir. Um, if you want... Uh, a uh, different skin tone uh, 2.0 hands. He basically has a whole nother set of uh, 2.0 hands in there. So he has like the, the outreached ones, the, the gnarly arthritis ones, the uh, vertical weapon holding hands, and then he has the horizontal weapon holding hands or double scroll holding hands. The next thing I noticed, so he does come with a, a book and a chain, which I was like, oh, let me, let me let me see that book and chain. Let me see that magic book there. So he has the chain here, and it has where it has where it pegs into the book, which if you messed with the um bu -bu 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 -bu, why can't I remember the names of these figures? They're all blended together in my brain. Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley had a bunch of chains, and he had books on there, and they had holes, and they had where they went onto the chains and stuff. Well, bad news, guys. Not the same size peg, because I have the, the Jacob Marley peg here. It is slightly larger. 
I mean, you could you could heat this up and probably make it go in there, but this is a hard plastic. It's more likely to break. And then with the Jacob Marley books, this peg is a little too small to put in there. I mean, if you wanted to blue tack it, I imagine you could do that and you could you could figure it out. But it's not a straight uh, A to B uh, connection there. Just FYI. But you can plug that book in. It has where this is a soft plastic. So I had to slowly pry this out because I was worried about it. There you go. Pops in there. And then you can put it over like a like Samir's shoulder, or you can take it and make it like a funky fresh uh, half giant and have where he's a, a little bit like a flavor flave if you wanted to. But you know it's your toy. Do what you want to. Uh, next is his staff. Now fiddling with the staff, uh, I, I got it. I got it on here. I'll show you without it after. Um, the magic effect for that, I I probably do need to go watch Jeremy when he like showed off this wave and started fiddling with it and stuff because I could get it to, it was a little bit harder to like work this around the staff because the staff is all one solid plastic piece there. It's rigid. I was worried about bending it too much and breaking it. Um, but I was able to work it around slowly, just slowly doing it and I can get it above there. Um, I feel, let's see if I could do this on camera without breaking this thing. A little bit of twist, a little bit of twist, little bit of twist, and get it like up to here, maybe like that. Um, it, it it seemed a little bit harder to do. Let me get him past this here and see if I can. Don't break the stuff. Don't break the stuff on camera. Don't do it. Don't. There we go. Um, if I could get it like this you can hear that it's, it's very rigid there so I guess yeah yeah that that works a little bit better uh getting it further down and then I can yeah yeah that that this first area is kind of iffy this one's real iffy but further down it feels like I can I can get this going more and then I keep twizzling it I can twizzle it about to uh, let me get you on there just right. So I said it was one, two, three, about three down and still be like straight and like it's casting out. So I, I think I think that's the limit on there, you know, to each their own. Fiddle with it, play with it, use your imagination, but be careful with it because this is all one piece. The head staff part does not come off for the Basilia logo, but like, well, Basilia icon. Um, I do really like it. I can't wait until they start doing great beasts again. Cause like I want a I want a snake bird. I want a, I want a snake bird. Snake bird's cool. But yeah, the staff is really neat. Um let's go ahead and do some comparisons next. Here's Samir with Thrace Wraith Haler, Heavy Metal Wizard, Zindi, the top of a Dune popcorn bucket from AMC. Santa with Muscles, and Shadow Equidron. Do I think you need a Samir Scroll Warder in your collection? I kind of do. Um, a little a little bit more than Arizak, honestly. Um, he has where he's that... I don't want to say good wizard exactly, but he has where he's that power of light there. He has the sign of Basilia upon his staff. He's all about scrolls and knowledge and books. He has where he comes with like a fun magic effect there. It's, he's just unique enough to have where he's his own character and he comes with enough stuff to have where it justifies using him for like popping swaps and making customs because that whole handset in a different uh, skin tone has where like this is this is the only figure you're gonna be able to get that with if this is what you want to work with, um, and then it has the uh, the one uh, two point body to one point uh, neck ball there, and then the heads. Uh, I'd say pick them up and make sure you have them in your legions collection. This is all around just like a good legions figure. The the cloth goods, like even though I feel like they are heavy. Uh, it balances out with the strength of the wire there. Like, you see where I got it kind of, like, wrinkled and kind of, like, 
crinkled up there to have where it has that blowing effect there. It holds it very well. It just spins around kind of, kind of wonderful. And, um, one thing I, I did note, uh, and I forgot to say, um, well, two things, uh, there, there's this little extra thing of little, little potions and whatever, who knows, maybe there's a little small scroll in there. Um, but also his book, I don't like how low it hangs. Um, I'm not saying it should have been, you know, higher, but I would adjust it to be higher. Um, if you want to do that, just pick up a pair of like jewelry pliers that have where they're rounded. Um, I usually have a pair somewhere around here. I messed with them with Jacob Marley and, uh, I would just make it like maybe like mm, eight links shorter. Cause I tried to like loop it over his shoulder, like doubled over. Um, it didn't work out. It was too short that way. So I think if you just took out like, yeah, like, like a, almost an inch of it, it would, it would sit a little bit higher here and be more towards his waist. And I think that would look a little bit better, but to each their own. So, uh, leave some comments down below. What do you think of Samir scroll water? Do you believe in the power of the ward of the scroll? Um, do you have where you want to pick them up? Do you not want to pick them up? Do you have your own? Have you had any issues? Leave a comment down below. Always please like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next uh, review. And also, uh, may the power of the scrolls be with you.